we're ready to go tonight. It's Finley and Condotta. The puck is dropped. And Myers at a turnover by Dumont. A backhand pass to the right. Comes back to Pitlick. He shoots and scores. Well, we were looking for the fast start for the crunch. It didn't happen. A minute in. A defensive zone turnover. And Rem Pitlick gives the Rocket a 1-0 lead. Now the crunch had the puck along the far boards. It's taken by Teasdale, cleared, oh, look offside, it's an onside play, a shot stop, rebound chance, Dumont to the front, oh, a sprawling save by Verbetic. Here's a pass in front, oh, a save, rebound, score! <laughs> Cole Kepke has tied the game early, not even five minutes in, it's 1-1. Couldn't clear a pass, Pitlick. Pitlick with a long shot out in front, and a goal, it's Belzeal. What a pass from Harvey Pinard on the failed clear for the crunch. And Alex Belzeal on the power play makes it 2-1 Laval. 8.02 to the first period. Well, Belzeal has scored against the crunch in Laval. Take a look at this. Bam, and he just laid it right on the boards. Hello. <laughs> Radish again, steps into some space. Centers tapped and a save by Verbetic. Oh, good save. On the tip by Daniel Walcott, and now he and Schuderman pushing and shoving. Walcott wants to drop the gloves. Radish carries ahead, left wing side, a long shot, tip, score! Well, the Crunch have tied the game 2-2 with 4.14 to go in this opening period. Another tip by Sean Element. Crunch have a power play to begin the second period. Four on three to start, then five on four, power play. Rifers out to the front, score! What a pass! And Gabriel Dumont on the power play, the crunch lead it. Just 139 into the second period, a power play goal for the captain. Up the wall, Myers shoots, scores! A tip by Gage Gonsalves in front of the goal, and a crunch open up a 4 2 lead, 5 11 into the second period. Continue with Sean Elliott getting another one tonight. Centering pass, score! Right on cue. This one will belong to Trevor Carrick in his first game in a month. Playing the puck to the goal and redirected in, and it's 5-2 crunch. It's out of the reach of Richard. Ends up in on net, and boy, very quick whistle there. And now we've got another brouhaha forming in the corner. Little poke check by Richard. And Tempers flaring in the left corner. Ryan Jones going to battle there on the boards. He's lost his helmet. It's Mitchell Stevens for Laval. The penalty against Ryan Jones. Period is underway. Alex Bari Boulay races through center, gains the line, splits the D, gets hooked, shoots, and scores! Oh, what a goal! Highlight real finish. Alex Bari Boulay on the power play, and it's 6-2 crunch. Back to Bari Boulay again. He waits. Right for scores! Another power play goal for the Crunch, and it's seven to two. 5.09 into the third period. Nearly had his helmet pulled off. Rocket get possession, shoot him in. Toe drags, penalty called. Uh, puck goes into the goal. It was a scrum of loose puck near the crease, and Xavier, no beg your pardon, it is uh, Joel Teasdale who ends up scoring the goal for Laval, and the Rocket finally break the sixth goal run for the Crunch. Puck is lifted up in the zone, and players come together as they rise to their feet in Syracuse, a 7-3 win for the Crunch.